part, kind of stressful part of whole show weekend festivities is the packing. So I have, I think I have everything that I need here laid out. So I'm gonna try to fit all of this in a little carry-on suitcase. So we'll see if it fits. But um, first things first. So we as a Glam Girl Bikini, as a team, we have a packing list made for all our athletes to kind of follow and go by. Um, and then, so I go through that, I write down everything that I need and then everything that I remember from other shows that I've done that I like to have with me. So, first things first. The most important things are your suit. So I've got my suit in here and I also have a backup suit just in case. So, Angel Competition Bikini. We love them. And they come with this cute little carrying case so I can have my suit protected. And then you want to have your heels. So this year, or I guess last year and this year, I've been wearing ones with no straps. But this year I decided to order these detachable straps. You can see them. So they just go on the heel. So you take your heel and you put it on, if I can figure this out on camera here. So you put it like this over the heel and then you turn it into one with straps. So I'm taking these just in case I decide or maybe the day of the show I feel a little bit wobbly or anything, I can put these on and be very secure in my heels. And then last thing that you definitely want to get is jewelry. So I have all of my jewelry that I've ever had for shows in here. So I have lots of different options. I've got my bracelets, my earrings, and my ring. So I like to keep them all in this little container. It's actually like a dental container, I think. <laughs> but it works. Great. So have that and then the next thing um, that's the most important too is having bands or weights to help you pump up backstage because you don't ever want to go to show and expect them to provide that for you um, and also like there's a lot of athletes backstage so you may not get to use the one or two bands or weights that they do bring backstage for the athletes. So I have my bag of different sizes and res of resistance bands in here. Fun fact is when I had shoulder surgery, I got a bunch of different bands that I had to use to work up my strength of my shoulder back. So that's what I bring because they're really easy. They're like long ones where you can tie. So I'll like tie a little loop and then for kickbacks, I'll connect the loop here on my heel and kick back so then I don't mess up my tan by putting it around my leg. And then I've got some eight pound weights here that I'm gonna bring. I don't think I'll need them, but just in case I need a little bit more like weight resistance wise to pump up. Um, and then Next thing would be like electronic things that, you know, your phone charger, your phone obviously. Um, I am filming this stuff for you, so I bring my camera and everything like that. Um, and then another, this is something extra that I like to bring. So we have a little knockoff of a Theragun and it's a little mini one. So. I'll use this if I feel like my back and legs and stuff are tight or whatnot because I am driving. So most of the time when I drive for long periods of time, my back hurts. So I'll use this so I can be fresh and feel good and not feel sore on stage, especially in my lower back because we need 
need our lower back to be fresh so we can pose right. Um, and then another thing that's important for show day is because I'm doing my own tan, I've got my DIY kit, I got my extra um, in case I need extra, um, and then a bowl to put a tan in along with the mitt to put it on. I need to go to the store and get some gloves. That's one thing that I do not have yet. Um, and then this thing <laughs> that you guys saw me try to rip apart last week. So got that. And then next thing that's important is, so you want to make sure that whenever you stay in the hotels, you know, hotel bedding is white most of the time, like 99% of the time hotel bedding is white and we get tan like Oompa Loompas. So we do not want to stain the sheets or anything because the hotel will charge you out the wazoo for being a man their stuff. So you want to bring sheets and pillowcase. So I've got that there. Um, normally I bring a pillow too, but I think I'm just going to use the hotel's pillow and just put my pillowcase over it and then obviously leave the foot, not take it with me home. Save some room in my bag that way. And then a blanket to stay extra warm and then to take backstage with me to either lay down on or cover up on because I normally get really, really cold backstage. Um, I've got clothes to use on the way home and then the fun stuff continues so I will bring my scale and my measure measuring tape so I can keep up and keep the data we like to always weigh ourselves you know right before we go on stage and to do measurements and stuff to see where we're at so each show that I do, I can make sure, you know, I'm continuing to improve and everything like that. So, um, next thing would be all my hair stuff. So, I am doing my own hair. So, I am bringing a curling iron, a hair dryer, just in case. I don't think I'll need it because I'm going to wash my hair tonight and blow dry it and then have two to three day old dirty hair so my curls stay better. Um, I've got me a show it to you. Yeah a satin hair cap. Don't I look hot? <laughs> so I got that to protect my hair if I really feel like I need to use it. I think I'm going to flip up my curls. But I got that just in case, so that way I can make sure that my hair is nice and pretty. And then I brought tons of clips like this, so I plan on like curling it and then clipping each curl up. So I brought lots of clips and a big clip to separate and section my hair. And then I got this roller so I can probably going to use it tonight, but I'll still bring it with me in case I need to touch up or dry my hair more, but this will help give me some volume. And then I also got these curling, what are they called? Ro rollers. They're curling rollers, but they're not like hot rollers. They're just plain rollers, so that should help me with the volume as well and a mirror so it also so it goes three times magnification and then one time so I can really make sure that everything looks good and then I've got my dark hair shampoo to cover up my grays I've got hairspray and then shine spray um, another cool like little tip to have backstage is to have baby wipes that's, you know, to wipe off your nails if you get tan on it, um, or, you know, to touch up any makeup 
the stops or anything like that. Um, and then this is a really cool fun fact that I learned last year. So if your feet, like me, I get, I don't know why, but my feet always get really, really sweaty. And then it's really hard to get in and out of my heels or if they get really sweaty and I have them on for a long time, then my feet start slipping and obviously that's not good when I'm trying to pose on stage. So um, I usually take some baby powder, pour it in my shoe, and then it kind of keeps my feet dry so I don't have to worry about slipping in my heels when I'm on stage. Um, so then I'm trying another thing new this year. I decide, so with us girls, right, we normally sit down to go to the bathroom, but we can't sit down when we are all tanned up because we'll ruin our tan. So I got this little handy dandy thing. It's a pee funnel, <laughs> so I can pee like a man. So I'll be able to use this and this thing attaches so you can have it longer and it'll reach the toilet closer so no like splashing or anything and then I'll, I'll wrap the toilet too which I'll show you guys when I get to the hotel and have to wrap the toilet um, but that's kind of me and my boyfriend's thing what we do on the toilet so we don't get any lines or mess up our tan got some slides so you don't ever want to wear socks or like tennis shoes or anything so easy slip on and off shoes so tan doesn't, doesn't get messed up. I've got some clothes for after the show and then I've got my tanning cover up so how cute are these? got a little blingy unicorn on the top and then the pants say glam girl bikini. Aren't they so cute? I can't wait to wear them. So we as a team we will all have matching PJs so we'll be able to go and do that and then I also in case those are too hot backstage I have my Glam Girl Bikini robe. So, it didn't come with a tie though, so I guess when I, I go to the store to get some gloves, I'll probably look for a tie. So I don't have to have that open. Last year I just wore it open, but you're flashing everybody your suit. So, I'll probably just keep on my PJs this time around. Unless I can find the tie. And then another good thing to have backstage is a little sewing kit because you never know if your suit is going to snag or break or anything. So I have that. I'll probably get and pick up some blue to match my suit that I'll wear. Last year I wore green, so I have some green, but I don't have blue, so got black white and green so if worst case the worst I'll probably use just the black because black looks close to blue and it's not gonna make make a huge difference um, got Kleenexes and then what's in my like little toiletry bag I've got a brush I've got a pick to comb through the curls I've got some teasing combs to help with volume, toothbrush toothpaste, can't forget that, an extra razor just in case, Pro won't need it though because I'll do my tan, my stuff like that before I leave tomorrow. Got extra contacts just in case mine that I have in my eyeballs right now fall out. I've got um, extra lipstick. I am getting my makeup done so I don't need to bring like full face of makeup but I did bring some because we are doing um, some pictures and team posing and stuff on Friday so I brought that. Brought some makeup remover 
wipes, some contact solution, again, just in case my contacts fall out. Um, I've got root spray, hairspray, or just regular dry shampoo that's not colored. Um, and then I've got some hair oil and what is this? This is like a powder. It's a style extender and volume and a pinch powder. So just in case the hairspray and stuff doesn't give me enough volume. Try that. And then I like to also bring a little like this is my nail glue because fun fact too, or funny thing that happened yesterday is I stubbed my toe and I broke my big toenail off, but I glued it back on <laughs> to last me through the weekend. Um, I've got extra like old lashes that I used at previous shows, so just in case I need extra of that. Got some tweezers, this has scissors, clippers in here some nail glue just in case all right and oh one last thing I think I've covered everything I will um, be shaving my face tonight as well so I got this electric it's an eyebrow trimmer but you can like dermaplane your whole face with it so do that tonight as well so the makeup goes on fresh clean up my eyebrows a little bit and that's about it y'all um here's packing for show day and this is really all you need and now that i'm looking at it i think i really will be able to fit it in my little carry on so it's a practice run because we are going to new jersey this year for nationals and if you ever have to fly to a show to make sure you have everything you possibly need for show day in your carry-on because you do not want to check the bag because worst case scenario you lose they lose your bags and you don't have anything to go up on stage so if you put it all in your carry-on if they lose your bags you at least can compete so we are going to put this in here. I'll probably leave it open because I'm going to wash my hair and curl it and stuff tonight and do one last shave of my whole body uh, before I do the base coat tomorrow. So All right, we are to Wednesday night. We are two days out tomorrow. So I'm having my last meal. It is sweet potatoes chicken plus four rice cakes i told y'all i'm carving up today so i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna dry my hair and go to bed to get a good night's sleep and wake up to check in in the morning so we will see you in the morning and we are done Woo. Look how big the hair is. So big. Very voluminous. I did. I really liked this. I've never used a round brush <laughs> drying my hair, believe it or not. I'm 29 years old and I've never used one of these. But I will say, it definitely, I think it did the job. I'm already having some little volume right up here. Try to do it on this side too, but it's kind of falling. But I've got some root pump and some other stuff. So put the um, I put a blowout cream and a curl cream in my hair, and then I sprayed it with some stuff that helps it dry faster. Cause this took me like 30 minutes. <laughs> I have lots of hair, guys. So I am going to finish off those rice cakes and go to bed so I will see you in the morning all right it is Thursday now so what I've already done today so I got up did check-ins with my coach found out how many carbs I need today and tomorrow and I will still check in with her tomorrow morning just to make sure 
we are going to have that amount of carbs tomorrow. Um, and then I went and did my last leg day workout. It was a really easy bands, really light cable work. Then came home, shaved my entire body, did one last shower, one last exfoliation, and now I'm here going to meal prep. So I will just let the camera run and you'll watch me how quick I do this. It doesn't take very long. Thankfully, because I have an air fryer, all I have to do is cut up, season, and throw it in there, and wait for it to be done, and then add more, and that's it. So, yep. Yeah. 
about the baggies and making um, per meal. So I like to figure out what I need for the whole entire day, cook it in bulk, and then weigh it out once it's cooked and then divide by however many meals that I made out of it. So that's what I will be doing next. take a gallon size baggie and so if you can see each meal like I write Friday meal one how much sweet potato how much chicken and so forth and then on the big gallon baggie I'll just write Friday so the good thing about me leaving a little bit later today is I will probably only bring two my last two meals with me for the day and then I just have to bring Friday, Saturday, and Sunday food. So it's not a whole lot which is really nice. So then I'll take that, put that in my cooler and I've got six more minutes till Saturday's food's done. So I'm going to start planning out Sunday so I can make that once this food's done. And 
almond butter. I have a brand new thing and then this one is almost gone so I'm gonna finish that out. And then got me some olive oil and liquid stevia. And then I will put my Friday meals, well, Sundays first, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday meals. And then I'll put some ice packs in here. Another thing that I have is I've got plenty of Himalayan pink salt. And I've got ibuprofen, just in case I have some muscle cramps or anything. And then sleep aid, just in case I can't sleep. And then a couple things. So I do not recommend using laxatives all the time. But on show day, when you're desperate and you can't go to the bathroom, sometimes you have to go to these measures. So I brought laxatives just in case. It is a gentle suppository, actually. It's not completely considered like a full-blown laxative. It doesn't act like a laxative. And then this also is smooth move tea, so it's a very gentle laxative tea as well. So I have the restroom covered <laughs> just in case, because you definitely want to have a good bowel movement day of show, that way things keep moving and you don't have a bloated stomach or anything because of it so yeah that is that y'all easy peasy took me about an hour an hour and a half to do all of this so not too bad all right we are ready got my first coat of tan on Woo! look at that difference <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to pack up my bags in my car and drive halfway tonight. So I'm gonna drive about four hours today and then three and a half tomorrow. So catch you probably sometime during the drive. And we are set to go on the road. Got all my bags packed, got my suitcase back there and we are ready to hit the road. So excited, ready to get the festivities going. And yeah, so um, gonna put on some tunes, maybe some podcasts and enjoy this four hour drive. guys we made it to the pit stop so I am bunking up in Overland Park it's about the halfway point from Ponca City to Des Moines Iowa and lucky enough my coach Amy she lives here so tomorrow morning before I head out on the road to go to Iowa I will go to her house we'll pose in person and we'll get a 3d fit scan so that will tell me um, where my body fat percentage is my measurements and how much muscle I have everywhere so we did some last year so it'll be really exciting to see how much I have improved and last year I actually did one I think it was two days before my show two or three days before my show of the first show of the year I did a 3d fit scan so it'll be cool to kind of compare now that I'm going to be one day out um, before we do it so it'll be interesting and we will show you that so yeah I am going to put sheets on the bed because I don't want to put this tan on that because they will probably charge me a whole lot of money. But yeah, so uh, maybe see in a little bit, maybe not see in the morning, we'll see.
already did my check-ins and I am working on my first meal, which is two ounces of chicken and a serving of cream of rice with almond butter. Tasty, so good. Mm. Got my water. Got my coffee. Coffee just has stevia in it. It's black um, because we don't do any cream or anything like that. Just chilling for a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna curl my hair kind of lightly today so it looks presentable but um, not fully done because I will fully do it all out tomorrow morning, obviously, for the show. And going to go over to my coach's house to get a 3D scan and pose with her. So very exciting. It's starting the festivities. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So I don't look as tan now because I did my base coat last night, but you can tell because tan white and up to my face. And I cut myself when I was shaving. When you when you're lean, you've got bones sticking out places, so it's it's really like you got to be very careful. And I just nicked it so easily, blood for like ever, but. My bracelet will be there, so it's not like it's gonna show on stage and it's it just looks kind of maybe like a freckle. Yeah, still feeling good, lost, uh, let's see, lost 1.2 pounds since yesterday. So that's a good sign. Lost a um, quarter of an inch on my hips and a little over a quarter of an inch in my thighs and that's where we definitely want it in my thighs because I need my tie-ins to come out but they're they're out enough for a regional level show so I'm not mad about it I'm just excited to get on stage and you know get that feeling hope hoping for a win obviously but if not it's okay this show's for fun. I'm already nationally qualified and it's really just to get some practice up on stage, have my coach see me in person and get feedback from the judges to see what else we need to do in order to come back better in six weeks for the Oklahoma show and then in 10 weeks for Universe Nationals. So. Yeah, and I'm I'm just really excited. I'm feeling good, um, mindset-wise. I I feel confident, and I have noticed that I probably need to start working on my posing even more. Um, I've been posing in the gym with my heels and everything, but I I have been watching myself. So when you watch yourself posing, you tend to do better because you can see and fix yourself. Um, but on stage, you can't see yourself and fix it. So I'm gonna start practicing even more, um, not watching myself um, and really just honing in on getting better and better and better at posing and what best um, shows my physique and my strengths um, and obviously hiding my weaknesses. Uh, <clears throat> I don't feel like I have a whole lot of weaknesses but there is always room for improvement in posing in your physique and anything even the top miss olympia is still back to the drawing board and still trying to improve her physique so um that's just something in my mind all the time that even the best of the best are continuing to improve and to work harder and push themselves harder to go to a place they've never been. And that's what drives me the most is I love going places I've never been. And each and, each and every show I do better, and not in a sense in placing, but I do better as in I always come back um, improved in, in my physique in my mindset, in my food relationship, 
every single time I try to do better at something and this year I feel that I am so much more in a better headspace. I'm confident, I'm positive, I'm not food focused at all. Like we're having a team dinner after the show tomorrow and I'm looking at the uh, menu to see what I want to get so I can kind of plan it out. Um, that way when I might be hungry or like really tempted wise, I already have something chosen and I don't go overboard. But just looking at the food, I'm like, none of this really sounds good. I just want my normal prep food. So that's a good sign because most of the time going into a show, um, I'm really hungry, I'm really food focused, I'm so ready for that like cheat meal at the end of the night after the show and I'm, that's not what I'm looking forward to the most. So that's just exciting for me. That's a big win that I i don't think I've ever experienced before. So it feels good that I'm, you know, in a good, in a good headspace. So yeah. And I'm just so excited to see the girls. I'm so excited to see the other coaches. I'm just so excited. Even though I'm doing, uh, going to this show alone, I'm not gonna be alone because I'll be with my team and my co team of coaches. And yeah, it's just gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. Um, the time cannot go by fast enough to get here, but also like I want it to slow down so I can enjoy the show day, show weekend festivities and really just, you know, make some memories, make some more friends and yeah, so I'm so excited. I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I did find out one of my clients is coming to cheer me on and cheer all the other athletes on. So, so excited to finally meet her in person as she has been working hard and pushing herself and having such great progress. I'm so proud of her. So I'm really excited to meet her in person and give her a big hug and um, tell her how much I'm proud of her It just in person so she knows that I am. Um, so yeah, I'm just so excited. Um, that's, I mean, I wish I could come up with a different word than excited because I feel like I say it all the time, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm confident. I'm, I'm just ready to do the thing. Not looking forward to the drive home, but drive here wasn't terrible. Um, I have another three, three and a half hours today and then I'll get to the hotel. I'll probably I'm hoping I get there a little bit early and they let me check in so I can do my second coat of tan before we go to team posing and then check it athlete check-ins all together as a team that way I don't have to do it at night and as soon as we're done with check-ins I can go to bed and make sure I get a good night's sleep because Last night, I don't know if it's the excitement or what, but I only got like five and a half, six hours of sleep. That's it. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't feel tired. I'm sure I will later on, especially when I'm driving. So, um, yesterday when I was driving, I always like to call my family, kind of catch up with them when I'm on long drives. And so talked to my mom for quite a while um that definitely made the trip go by quick uh or quicker <laughs> i should say it definitely didn't go by quick but it definitely i think we talked about an hour and a half two hours so it it helped the drive go by because i was so tired and like the it was kind of dreary out, kind of sprinkling on and off, raining on and off, and so definitely not set for a drive and keeping you awake because that kind of weather just makes you want to snuggle up and go to bed. So I uh, called my mom, we talked a while, 
and she had said I was gonna call my grandparents but she said they were out to eat so I'm gonna call them probably today on my drive and catch up with them since we didn't get together for Easter really missing them I'm kind of thinking about going out of my way um, to go see them on my way home but it is like a two hour like out of the way drive so we'll see how I'm feeling how tired I am how anxious I am to get home but yeah um, well I think I better get started on my hair so I will show you that process and we'll catch you in the next clip Here we are comparing my last one from last year to today's. So this one was 5 of 6, so this was your two Lewis. Before, so Lewis yeah. yep. And since then, you've gained 3 pounds of muscle, mm -hmm. which is what a natural athlete would do in a year. Um, so it's been almost a year, just a little under, so that's really great. Um, Body fat hasn't changed much. Most of the weight that you have gained has been from muscle. That's even, that's awesome. Yeah, and if you see the side <laughs> of your glute. Booty gains. So we've really been w working on getting your upper glute to come yeah. in um, so that you're more 3D and dimensional. You can see the roundness and also hamstring swoop. Um, definitely a much more full look from the side. Yeah. And then you can see it for sure, especially oh, in the yeah. upper glute. Look how much wider my back is. Right yeah. here, yeah. We've got a great taper. Um, glutes are so much bigger. Yeah. Now, um, and then we'll look at the other side too, because we know your left side comes in a little different. It's crazy how much of a cut in. Yeah. You have always on the left side versus it's that little fat pocket that I have on my right, right side. But the right is so much improved. Yeah. From from St. Louis. So when we go into the measurements, so legs are left. Now it's a little bit bigger, which is surprising because oh, I'll last start time doing right side then. your right was bigger. It's not your so your left really hasn't changed at all since St. Louis, but your right's gone down. Gone down. Yeah, which is probably a good thing, but. Um, Okay, so hips are up, which is to be expected. Because my glutes have gotten bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And then... Is up a half an inch. Yeah. So, which we knew. Yep. I mean, my waist isn't as small as it was for Louis. Right, and I don't know if you're okay with saying this, but basically you are premenstrual here, but you yeah. weren't in yeah. these other pictures. Um, so then you came in July. July 15th. So when did you? That, that was, was for how the many weeks show. out from USA? So two um, weeks out. That was July. Yeah, it would have been two weeks. Yeah. So again, your hips are up considerably, and we can definitely see that just from the 3D scan. You've got much more glute mass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is you super super lean. The feedback was you were too lean. Mm -hmm. I think this look is a much better look that Sandy will like. It's more full. Mm -hmm. 
you are bringing it already, I think, a better package this year. Yeah. And this is just the beginning. We still have 10 weeks to go for nationals. Yep. So even from that show, your, your muscle yeah, mass is, yeah. So Sweet. really, really good. Um, you know, we've got some time here to bring down the body fat, but you know, we were too lean here. Which so it says I'm 15.2 in my, which I have eaten and drank, but my in body has been saying I'm like 12.5, so it's yeah. about three off. Yeah, you can always guesstimate that it's gonna be five to three percent off on a, an in body. Mm -hmm. So right before St. Louis, you were at 14 and then So I'm really not that much, like, body fat wise, I'm not that far off from. Which that could be um, my period coming too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It is Messing an equation. With waters. So if you look at the three pounds of muscle, if we add that to here, you know, you're only within a difference of one pound. Yeah. From your stage weight, and you have three more pounds of muscle. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looking good. Yay. <laughs> you're next. and then you'll go to the back of the line. So you'll... All right, ladies, turn and face the rear. And walk to the back curtain. Good job moving your hips. Turn and face the front. about almost it's about less 11 months it's 11 months 11 months and I've gained about three pounds of muscle and only a half a percent difference of body fat so we are golden we are making some improvements this year is gonna be my year Woo! all right so pro tip when you're traveling and you're on prep or you're making your food, you don't have to be on prep. Maybe you just try to eat healthy. And of course, when traveling, it's hard to find healthy restaurants and stuff that, you know, fit your needs. So I've got my baggie, literally just stopped at a gas station. Make sure to stop at gas stations that have a microwave. Um, most of your like truck stops and stuff will have microwaves. I stopped at a, Philip 66 Mini Mart, heat up my food, and I will just throw some salt in there and eat it out of the baggie while I'm driving. So, back on the road, here we go. We made it, y'all! There's the hotel and venue. Made it to the hotel room. This is a really nice hotel room. Got even got a microwave and a fridge. Having a microwave in your room is unheard of with shows. And then double bed. It's not gonna, there we go. And here we are, ready. So now that I'm here early, I got to check in right away. As soon as I walked in, I was kind of worried because the check-in said it was like three or four. 
and it's a little past 2.30 right now. We've got team posing and meeting at five or four. So I have about an hour and a half until we do that. So I'm just going to eat a meal, chill for a little bit, and then put on my second base coat of tan. So that way um, I can have my coach check it out, see how dark it is, and see if I need to do a third base coat tonight before I go to bed. So, and I really want to get the tanning part done so that way whenever we get back from check-ins that I can just eat my last meal and go straight to bed because last night I did not sleep very good. Well, I slept good, just not for very long. It was only like five and a half, six hours. And I really want to try to get at least seven or eight. Um, so yeah, just walking around been cooped up in the car all morning so it feels good to walk around kind of loosen my body up my back was start my lower back was starting to get really tight and painful so I'll probably get out my little Theragun my little mini one it's not a Theragun it's actually a knockoff because the girl doesn't buy brand new stuff because we save money around here. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I'll just continue videoing what I can, what I think might be cool for you guys to watch, I don't know. So you'll have to respond and tell me what you did like about this show day vlog, peak week, whatnot, and what you would like to see or like throw in or whatnot, so because your girl is gonna have some more shows this year. So, gotta, gotta know what my peeps want. So, yeah. Chicken in, sweet potato. Oh man, I'm so happy we have a microwave. same thing so I always eat my protein first if I don't have any veggies if I have veggies I eat veggies first then the protein then the carbs always leave carbs for the last so like this meal is chicken and sweet potato so I eat all my chicken first and then I eat my sweet potato because I always like to end the meal with the best part Anybody else like that? <laughs> or am I just weird? so like versatile like you can make them sweet and like I was gonna say sweet and savory but that's two different things you can make them sweet or you can make them savory or you can just have them plain and they're they're so good
can't forget my psyllium husk. That way I can make sure to use the restroom in the morning. Psyllium husk is just another form of a fiber supplement, kind of like Metamucil is. So since I'm not having veggies today, I really got to make sure I take the psyllium husk because my fiber gets too low. I do not use the restroom and that is not good on show day. Because, a few things, even though it might not look like it, because, you know, our waistlines are so small and already, but feeling bloated or just looking a tiny bit bloated because you're constipated, it's not a good look. Plus, it doesn't feel good when you're on stage and you feel like you have to use the restroom, but you can. So. Yeah. That's enough of that. I'm sure you guys definitely wanted to hear that. But, if there are competitors watching, you gotta know these things. It's just part of life. We all go number two, and it's very important to be able to do that. Because if you can't, where else is it gonna go? Right? At some point, it's gotta go somewhere. So. But, no. I have a clock in here, so I better figure out what time it is. See how much time I get to relax and then start tanning again and start the festivities. I'm so ready to see everybody. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see some of the veterans from Glam Girl Team that I met last year and I'm excited to meet the new ones and always excited to see the coaches um, so yeah I'm, I'm so excited this weekend is gonna be so much fun no matter the turnout it's gonna be such a fun weekend with full of memories and just good times I will, I'm gonna go check what time it is, figure out how long I can relax, and then do my tan, and we'll see what's next. All right, one more tip before I put on my tan, because I checked the time, and I better do it now, and then relax until I need to leave. So, <clears throat> first thing you do when you get into your hotel room, you un- Pack. So, because I'm, I might be switching rooms tomorrow, I'm not completely like spreading all my stuff out like I normally would, um, but I am kind of organizing things so that way in the morning I know where everything's at, easy to go, I'm not like frantically trying to find things and that stuff. So, I've got my six pack bag here. I keep all like my my salt, my coffee, my smooth move, all that stuff in here because it doesn't need to go in the fridge and like I said I might be moving rooms tomorrow so I don't want to put everything out and then have to like hurry and get things back. So and then got my almond butter. Probably set that out since I'll, I need some in a little bit got all my rice cakes and then food is in the fridge we've got the rest of today's tomorrow's and Sundays got my water chilling because it was hot and then the best thing got me a Diet Coke for after the show 
because I've been craving that so bad. And then in the bathroom, this is where it gets kind of crazy. So we've got all my hair stuff, makeup if I need it, but I am getting my makeup done. So, and then got all of my other hair stuff in here. Got my pee funnel. So let's show you this thing because it, I don't know why, but I've been competing since 2016 y'all. And this is the very first year I've ever gotten a pee funnel. And let me tell you, it is a lifesaver. So it normally is like this, but then it comes with this attachment and you know, you just stick it up in there, but you get it really tight and then nothing splatters all over you. And this thing is long enough that you get it really close to the toilet and there's not any splashing up. Um, another good thing to use is to wrap the toilet or put toilet paper down on the seat for when you have to go number two. And then try to hover as much as you can, but the toilet paper will kind of help. And you can also put toilet paper in the water of the toilet so that way, you know, nothing drops and splashes up on you. <laughs> but, um, and then I've got my Pro Tan bowl and everything to go. Got this nice handy thing, so we'll see if it works for my back. If not, I'm gonna be frantically texting and coaching and like, come help me. And then, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Um, I set out my tanning clothes and our photo shoot clothes. Got my suit and my heels ready to go to posing. And that's it. So, oh, one more thing. Very important because we don't, like I said, we don't like to spend a whole lot of money here. So, got my sheets. I'll probably put those on the bed before I put my tan on because I washed or I rinsed off this morning, so um, nothing's going to come off of me right now unless I actually like get it wet and scrub it off. So yeah, we're gonna make the bed and then we're gonna do our tan. to go all right don't mind the hair I'm hot so I put my hair up <laughs> but look at these cool little jammies got a little unicorn Woo! going to team posing all right guys back from posing practice with the team we got these cool first form bags they're really nice, they even have a zipper on it. And then they gave us a level one protein bar, which these are so good. Ooh, and then a protein stick. So that'll be fun to try. And we are number 38 tomorrow. So 38 is gonna be the lucky one. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I am going to have my last meal. Gonna chill out and hopefully go to bed really early. Last meal going down. Rice cake with one tablespoon of peanut butter and five ounces of chicken. 